Peeps, it's Eileen Fio, Transform Your Body Fitness. I'm a physical therapist and a fitness coach. Spring has sprung, and so has allergy season because the pollen is off the charts. More of us are going to be experiencing sinus infection and sinus congestion. So, you know, I know most of us are going to end up going to the doctors, getting the antibiotics, getting the decongestion type of medication. I get it, you know, because it's easy. But, and I'm not going to tell you that that stuff doesn't work, but I will tell you that that medication you're going to go to the doctor for is going to have side effects. And isn't the point to live healthy? Isn't that why, you know, you, you exercise and you try to eat right and you try to do good things with your kids? It's about doing healthy things. So what I am trying to do is give you ways that you are going to have natural remedies to treat the sinus infection and the sinus congestion rather than going to the doctor and getting the typical medication that has the side effects. So today what I have for you is to talk about apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has a whole host of natural health benefits that it's not just something to put on a salad dressing. It really has health properties to it. It has antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal abilities and that's why if you use them in a way that I'm going to teach you, you can do those things instead of doing the antibiotics and the decongestive type of medication. So let's talk about why apple cider vinegar and let's even talk about how you even get vinegar. First of all, vinegar comes from um, the carbohydrates of fruits, vegetables, and grains. And what happens is that the carbohydrates within those foods goes through a fermenting process and it gets turned into sugar. And then that sugar is fermented again and actually turns into the vinegar. Now, ironically enough, the French, the, the word vinegar in French um, means sour wine. So in my opinion, you can tell that the French were trying to actually make wine and they accidentally probably put it through a second fermenting process and made vinegar okay so that's the process of how you get vinegar but now like there's all kinds of different kinds of vinegars there's balsamic vinegar there's rice vinegar there's all different kinds so why apple cider vinegar because it has and I know typically on going live everything is backwards but it has its mother it's the only one that goes through the fermenting process that produces the vinegar that retains what's called its mother now, if I go like this, you can see the bottom there, that sediment at the bottom, that's the mother. If I were to pour it out in a bowl, it's like spider-like web looking. And it's those properties of the mother that give it its antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. It also has several different kinds of enzymes that are incredible for a whole host of different um, health benefits, including good digestion. But now, today we're focusing in on those sinus congestion and sinus infection. Now, what causes the sinus infection and congestion? You get some sort of a microorganism in your sinus cavity, and then it kind of goes out of control, and it creates um, bacterial problems and fungal problems and virus problems, and that's why you're getting increased amount of mucus, you're getting fevers, you're getting headaches, because the cavities are clogged where they should be open and so that's where the apple cider vinegar can it has those properties to fight against all those things and I know that's why it's easy to go to the doctor to get the, uh, the medication and the over-the-counter this stuff but as I said before all of those things have side effects this is a natural product and so why not use something natural that does the same thing now there's two different ways I'm going to teach you how to use this. You take a pot of hot water. I wonder if you can still see it steaming a little bit. What you would do, this is uh, four cups of um, water that's been heated up so that you get the vapor and the steam. You would put one cup of the apple cider vinegar in here and you inhale the vapors, you know, because it's getting into your sinuses. So you can you know, and you do that for probably, you know, 20, 15, 20 minutes to really open yourself up and to give yourself, you know, when you're congested, you can't breathe. And this is going to help open you up. 
The other suggestion is that you take that hot water and you pour it into a cup and take your apple cider vinegar. It's got to be warm water. You take a tablespoon. All right. There we go. Stir it up. And voila. So it's like a tea. And it's it's delicious. I'm not, well, I'm going to back that up. It's not that it's delicious. It's not bad. Um, now, some people say they put honey in it. What I'm going to say for the purposes of clearing out your sinuses, stick with the hot water, stick with the one tablespoon. And honestly, I know some people will say, eh, it tastes like salad dressing. I don't think so. And to me, even if you had to get used to it a little bit, it's worth it versus the side effects that you would feel um, later on in life from all the antibiotics and all the over-the-counter decongestive medicine. So cheers, try this, apple cider vinegar. The other thing I wanna mention, again, it has to be raw, unfiltered, and with its mother to give you those health benefits. More of these natural remedies to come. There's a whole host of things that you can do instead of the typical going to the doctor and getting the meds. Stay tuned, more to come. Have a great day. It's about staying as healthy as you can for as long as you can.